China, the Qin Dynasty, 221 to 206 BCE. The warlike Qin tribes of western China conquered its neighbors from 350 BCE onward. By 221 BCE, they had built an empire from which China takes its name. King Cheng of Qin united most of China in just 10 years, ending the Warring States period. He changed his name to Shi Huangdi, meaning First Emperor, and founded the first imperial dynasty of China. Shi Huangdi reorganized the government, bringing everything under central control. He standardized all weights and measures, Chinese writing, and even the width of wagon wheels. He made laws and institution in the Qin region, region, and introduced a single currency. He was a ruthless modernizer, abolishing the powers of feudal aristocracy and sending out administrators to run the regions. He built roads and canals and improved farming with irrigation and drainage schemes. To protect China from the barbarians, construction began on a great wall, much of which still exists today. He established imperial traditions that remained consistent through many different dynastic periods over 2,000 years. In 221 BCE, Shi Huangdi destroyed many traditional literary works, including those of Confucius, and even executed 400 scholars to ensure modernization. Shi Huangdi was a warrior who used cavalry rather than chariots. He was used to being obeyed, and some of his actions made him very unpopular. Yet he commanded respect and achieved results. And he was used to his power to make changes quickly and to unite China. He also had principles. He believed that the emperor had been given the mandate of heaven by the gods, that he must earn the support of the gods by governing well. This principle meant that the emperor could also be deposed if he misgoverned the country. The Qin Legacy When Shi Huangdi died in 210 BCE, and four years later the Qin dynasty was overthrown because of the changes in laws uh, they made were too harsh, a civil war broke out. The idea of a united empire, however, became fixed in the minds of the people. An ordinary man, named Du Bong, had become a Qin official, found a new dynasty, and as a result gained popular support. The Han dynasty was to rule for 400 years on the basis that Shi Huangdi had established. The Qin used large numbers of forced laborers to build much of their Great Wall, which was 1,400 miles or 2,250 kilometers long, and built from packed earth and rubble. Stone, bricks, and mortar were added later. The scale of this operation shows how important it was to the Chinese to keep raiding tribes from the north out. These tribes preyed on Chinese security and prosperity, and China suffered greatly because of the wall. Uh, so the wall before the wall was built and the raiders were beaten off.